Hello and welcome to a multi-part series where I'll show you how to program your own Discord bot in Python. So the first step is to install Python 3 from the website. Um, during the installation make sure to select add to path. This is very important as you won't be able to make your bot if you don't do this. Once you have Python 3 installed, or 3 point whatever, download the latest one on the site, open up c the command prompt in administrator mode, so you would do that by opening the start menu, typing in cmd, and then run as administrator. Click yes, let me drag this into view, okay, and then you type pip3 install discord, then press enter. It should go ahead and install discord and then you should be set. Next we can start programming. Now that you've done that we can continue on in the tutorial. Okay, so for our bot so we are able to test it, you might want to make your own server. For this purpose I will make my own server for this tutorial. So let's name this uh, tutorial server and we can make it US East. Okay. Let's not invite anyone, and let's just leave it how it is. Let's disconnect from the voice channel, and that should be it. Let's minimize this, and then go over to Google and search Discord Developer Dashboard. We can go to Applications, and click New App. We need to name this now, so we can name it um, Tutor... I can't spell bot. Okay. Now we can add a description. I don't think this really matters, but you can do whatever. Let's say description. As of now, we don't need an app icon. You can add one if you'd like. I'll add. Here we go. Now we can click create app. Okay, now that we're here, we can scroll through, make sure everything's correct, and create a bot user. Okay, we can make this a public bot, and this will let anyone use it, or add it to a server, not just you. Okay, then we can generate an OAuth2 URL, we can check administrator, check bot, let's go ahead, paste this into our URL bar, and let's add it to tutorial server. Make sure you're not a robot, and that's it. Now we can check our server, and what do you know, the bot is here. It's not online though, so we'll start programming now. Okay, now we can start programming. Let's create a folder for our bot to be contained inside of. Let's name this uh, tutorial bot, I guess. We can open this up. Alright, let's make a new file. Um, Make sure that you have uh, view uh, file name extensions enabled for Windows 10 or 8. Uh, for Windows 7, it's a little more complicated. You can Google how to turn those on. All right, um, F2 is the shortcut to rename if you didn't know. So let's name this tutorial.py for Python. Okay, now it's a Python file. We can edit it with idle. You can also use PyCharm or whatever you please. I prefer PyCharm, but for the sake of this tutorial, we're going to use idle because this uh, idle comes with uh, Python. All right, here we've got our blank slate. Uh, this is a very simplistic IDE. Um, doesn't have many bells and whistles and tends to crash if you paste emojis into it, which are more modern. So we're going to have to import a few things. We can import Discord uh, from Discord ext.commands we're going to import bot capital B this is all case sensitive um, from discord.ext we're going to import commands going to import async io <coughs> um, we're going to import random we're going to use that later in this tutorial series and from discord we're going to, uh, I'm typing when I'm speaking, I I'm a little slow. I'm going to import 
game. This will let us change the status of our bot. Now we can go ahead, control S, save it. Okay, good. Now we're gonna find some things. Let's, um, let's see, let's do client discord dot client. If I can type, that'd be great. Got client equals commands dot bot. We can make the command prefix an exclamation point. That's what I normally use. You can use a question mark or whatever you please. Okay. We can do at client dot event async on ready. This means whenever the bot boots up, it's going to do the following commands. So we're going to do uh, we're going to have the bot change its now playing message to whatever you please. So we're going to do await dot client dot change underscore presence and we're going to change that to in a second we're going to change the name to the string here. Uh, we're going to name this to testing123 okay let's close those bracket or those parentheses and then we can also have it print to a console that it's ready so let's print um, I guess we can be extremely white and print ready Freddy okay we can go ahead and save this and now let's see let's program our first command in uh, let's leave some space here. Let's do at client.event again. Okay. All right. So, uh, on the on a message that it receives, it will execute the code in here. So we can add a simple command I guess so we can add let's see let's do the typical ping pong command but let's make it ching chong so we can do if message dot content dot upper and then parentheses that starts with you can also just make it the message content Actually, let's just make it the message content, because if it starts with it, and then you have more stuff after that, it doesn't really make sense. Let's make it if the message content is only that word. And then we're going to do equals equals ching. Oh, since we use upper dot upper, we got to make it all uppercase. Okay, there we go. Then, if we receive a message that is ching, it doesn't have to be, it's not case sensitive now that we added the dot upper. We can do await client dot send underscore message, and then the message channel, and we can reply with chong. Okay, there we go. Now we can add another command. Uh, we can make this command only if you start with this certain word. So we can do, oh, I made a mistake, if message dot content dot upper parentheses dot starts with is equal to, or is not equal to, is uh, it starts with hello, then we're going to have the bot respond with have him respond with, let's see, let's close that, oh, hi there, okay, let's say we want to add an emoji to this, but we want an external emoji, so, uh, bots can actually use emojis, actually, let's not use an external emoji, let's use a regular emoji, so, let's go over here to discord, we don't have any emojis on the server currently, 
we can uh, use the sneezing emoji. So we see that the code for the sneezing, sneeze, sneezing emoji is sneezing underscore face. So let's control X and let's paste that in there three times. Okay, you can use the middle mouse to go left and right, hold it down. All right, now our bot won't actually run because we haven't posted or pasted our uh, token in here yet. So we at all the way at the bottom we have to type client dot run. Let's do that. Now we need our token. So let's go to the developer thing. Again, let's go down here, and then we need our token. Let's find this token. There we go. Don't share your token with people, other otherwise they can steal your bot and delete your servers. Or not delete your servers, kick people from your servers, do whatever. It's generally good if you don't share the token. For me, it doesn't really matter, uh, because I'm going to change it anyway. So let's paste that in there, and now we can press F5 to run it says it must be saved. Let's save it. Okay, I found the problem. It's that this is indented, so let's fix that. Let's go through here. Is there anything wrong or anything blatantly wrong? Um, let's see. This looks fine. This looks fine as well. Everything here looks fine. I'm not really sure why this isn't working. Let's try again. Please work. Okay, it works now. Um, the issue here was that client.run was indented for some reason. I'm not really sure why, but it was. So now we can see that our bot is running. Here, let, not that, we can move this out of the way. Uh, here, we've got our shell open. This is a log. You can see what's going on if you have the commands print to it. I can later on in the tutorial we can see that alright so let's type ching let's see if it responds see it replies chong now let's make sure it's not case sensitive it still works alright now we our other command is hello hello and the message only needs to start with hello it can be hello snack bar and it'll still reply with hi there so, say we want to know in our console log if the command was triggered. We can simply go here, and after the command is triggered, we can do print chong triggered. There we go. We can run it again. Let's move that down here. Ching. Chong triggered here try that again. There you go. It's that simple.